Today on Make Shape Crate, we're making this stool. Hey guys, I'm Corey. This is Make Shape Crate, and we're making a stool today. So for a while now, um, ever since we built our fancy stool, I've wanted just a regular one, just because I do, and I think it'd be fun. So I got some, I think these are two by sixes, that um, I got for free from work. They're a little tore up, but that's okay. I think we're gonna use these for the seats. We got a curtain rod that we're gonna use for the legs, and we're gonna kind of make it up as we go along. No drawing this week, it's gonna kind of wing it. So, here we go. All pieces are cut up. Um, somehow this was longer, but that's okay. Better to be longer than not long enough. So, we're gonna put some glue on these edges, clamp this up, it's probably gonna sit for a couple hours. But we're waiting for that. We went and took a rod for our closet, cut it down. This started at 72 inches, we cut them down to 30. So that should be more than good enough for the legs. We took this scrap piece of wood, to try to find a template because we don't have a drill press. Um, first one I tried, as you can see, is a little too steep. This one's a lot better. So we're gonna use this one as a guide for us to cut the holes into the actual seat. I did something wrong, but I think I can fix it. For whatever reason, they're all the right height and they're all at the right angle, but the whole thing's kind of cattywonk. I think what I needed to do is each corner I was doing at a different angle. And so it, it became that way. I think what we're gonna try to do and make it work. I'm gonna take a piece of scrap wood I'm gonna put it underneath the middle of this, put these back in, glue them in, go from there. Put in the glue, let that sit. As you saw, I did cut holes or uh, slashes in the things to put in wedges if I need to. Um, I might do that, I'm not sure yet. But let this top round glue set up and then I'll flip it over, I'll glue it from the other side and then we can go ahead and make structures, cut these down, start shaping, all that good stuff. All right, this is all glued up, it's all good to go. We just need to cut these off. All the legs are dried, everything's set up. We're gonna use the scrap wood to make some stretchers. I ended up liking the, the cutoff from the round parts for the side. I did them really well. The big ones I was trying to use wasn't working, so I switched to these um, pieces that I'd left over from the roll top desk, and I actually like them a lot better. So we're gonna use them instead. We just need to get these uh, leveled up, uh, drilled out, glued up, and we can start sanding. While this glues up, we're gonna go ahead and take our push cut saw and level out these legs. All I did was I took a square, stood up on the ground, drew a line all the way around to where it was level. So 
cut these off. Hopefully by then this uh, putty and stuff like that will be dry and we can start sanding. It's that time, folks. Are you here to help me sand? Or are you just making sure I'm doing my job? Okay. Sanding is done. Took me forever, but it is done. But this is a little too big to fit in the paint booth. So we're gonna wait till tomorrow, take it outside and lacquer it. down. This is going to take a few. It's done. That's how we did it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you will uh, consider subscribing, liking this video, maybe leaving a comment below if there was something you liked about this, if it inspired you to do something similar, or if you had any ideas about something else we could do. Um, you guys can find us on social media at Make Shape Create, and we'll be back next week with a brand new video. See you guys.